Welcome all. Uh, my name is Jessica Hulick. I am the Director of Civic Engagement and Politics at Equality North Carolina. Uh, my pronouns are she and her, and I am based out of Durham. Um, I'm very glad to see all of you here tonight. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're, uh, our plans are for the next 35 days, which is how many days we have until the election. Uh, we are, uh, I know, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> hard to believe. Um, <laughs> so, and today's almost over, so 34 days tomorrow. Um, so we have 147 endorsed candidates across North Carolina from the governor and U.S. Senate to uh, the NCGA to local school boards and city council and county commission offices. Um, we are really proud of our endorsement process. We um, question, we sent questions to all of these candidates on a myriad of issues, including LGBTQ issues, um, education, um, economics, um, you know, policing, and uh, all of those, all of these issues that of healthcare, all of these things affect all of us um, because LGBTQ people are in every population and um, we need to address all of these issues for all of our lived equality. And so we have a program that um, or, uh, is called Out to Vote. So you can uh, text out to vote to 79606, or you can tell all of your friends to do that, and then they will get all of our information. Um, we will have phone banks. We've had phone banks every Saturday this month, um, and uh, a couple on Sunday and Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, and now we're going to continue uh, having phone banks every Saturday, but we're also just going to have open phone banks for, they're going to start on Thursday, so we will have them for the next 33 days. They'll be open so you can join. Um, after I've, I've taught you how to do the whole thing, um, you can, anytime that's convenient for you, you can log on and make some phone calls. We will be um, send, we will be calling folks um, to talk about specific candidate issues. Um, we will also be talking about making sure folks are registered to vote, make sure they know how to get their absentee ballot, um, making sure that they have a plan to vote because the research says if you ask someone if they have a plan to vote, they're more likely to actually act on that plan. So, you know, we have lists of couple hundred thousand people that uh, we're going to call and make sure they all have a, a plan to vote. Um, and as we get into early voting, um, folks that we know uh, got an absentee ballot but haven't returned it, we're going to call those folks and remind them to return that absentee ballot, ask them if they know how to return it, if they know where to find a witness, all of those sorts of things. Um, so in the chat, I'm going to share with you uh, a couple of links. Um, I sent everyone an email today. Um, that included all of these links. And if you didn't get that email, just um, let me know and I'll forward it to you again. Um, but the first link is what I call my very important documents. Um, so everything in that uh, in here is supposed to be um, prepping you to make these phone calls. So if you um, are on a call and everything is scripted, which I will show you later, but if someone goes off script and asks you a question that you aren't sure the answer to, um, this list of links is, is there to help you. So there's a link to uh, the Board of Elections, there's a link to where they can get free PPE, where they can get their absentee ballot, where they can track their ballot, where they can get their sample ballot, where they can find their polling place. Um, all of that stuff. And then there's also a link where they can look up all of our endorsed candidates and find out more information about all of them. Um, and then there's also information. Another question that we will ask folks on these phone banks is if they want to volunteer, if they want to make phone calls or um, do our texting program, or we have another program that that training will be on Thursday this week, um, which is called Empower. And so that's a peer-to-peer -peer organizing program. So if they want to get involved with any of those things, um, all of these links are here on this page. Um, so it really, what I do when I'm making calls is I'm looking at my computer, starting to make the calls, and I have that that link pull that page pulled up so that I can just uh, reference it if necessary if anybody asks me any questions that I'm not sure of. Um, so that's the first 
link. The second one is how to phone bank. So if you click on that, you will see um, how to phone bank. And what we use is a system called Talk Through. Um, it is a system that you can use on your laptop. Um, you don't even have to dial the phone numbers. You don't need your phone. Um, it's not coming from your phone number. It's a, it's a really simple system to use. So I'm going to show you, I'm gonna share my screen and uh, show you this video that hopefully all this technology works. Uh, share my screen and show you this video. Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear it once she starts talking. Welcome to Through Talk. In order to make calls on Through Talk, you will need a laptop, desktop, or a tablet to see the script and a headset to talk. If you have a slow internet connection or don't have a headset, you can also use a phone to call into the system. When you're ready to make calls, start at the login page provided for you by the campaign. Enter your name, email, and phone number to claim a login. Copy and paste your new username and password into the boxes below. Click Next and select your service. If you're unsure about what service to select, ask your campaign contact. If you're using a phone to call in, uncheck the Call Using Computer checkbox. Click Sign In. Now relax as the system will start making calls for you using a campaign number and will show you this waiting screen while it dials. You'll hear a beep when a call is connected and you should start speaking right away. Hello, is Sam Wilson there? When you click on the script button, the script will change to show you the next thing to say. It's important to click through the buttons, even if you know the script, because they're tracked for each conversation. We're talking to the right person here, so we'll click on talking to the correct person. Hi Sam, my name is Enya. I'm a volunteer with the Candidate for State House campaign. Can we count on you to vote on November 6th? Absolutely, I love you. I'm so glad to hear that. We're getting down to the wire and every vote counts. Would you be interested in volunteering to help candidate campaign? Thanks so much. I'll mark it down here and someone from the campaign will be in touch soon about opportunities to get involved. Thanks for your time and have a great afternoon. When you're done with the call, click on next call on the left to move on to your next call. We talk to the voter here, so we'll click next call, talk to correct person, and click save to move on to the next call. When you're done making calls for the day, wait until the end of the call and select not ready before you click save. Your screen will confirm you're no longer connected and you close the window to log out. That's it. Have a great time making calls into your talk. All right, so if that seemed really simple, it's because it is. Um, one of the things I will point out is that um, through talk automatically connects you and starts making phone calls as soon as you log in. So make sure that when we get to that page, when you're logging in, when you, you click sign in, you actually are ready for the phone to start dialing. Um, because some people want to log in and then, you know, you want to make sure you've got your papers and you're settled and all that. And through talk doesn't give you the room for that, unfortunately. So you have to be ready to, <clears throat> to, um, to start talking to someone whenever um, whenever you log in. So I'm gonna go back and share my screen again and um, get to it, there we go. All right, so this is the login screen that you will see. Um, this is how you know you're in the right place. So you will go here and you will click get your login. Oh, right, because I've been on this page too long. <laughs> Let me try that again. Get your login. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. I have to put my information in. I told you it's been a long day. I apologize. <laughs> I have to fill it out first. <laughs> so, Jessica. All right. And then put your phone number in. Your the phone number that you put in will not be the phone number that you are dialing from. And then you will get your login. So then this is the screen that comes up and you click on equality, you copy that into the login and that into the password and then you click next. And then um, you can use your own cell phone if you want to, so you would unclick this box, you're not calling from your computer. When you do that, uh, uh, after you log in, 
um, a message will pop up and say, call this number and enter this PIN. Um, and then that will connect the audio from your phone to the calls that you're making on your laptop. So that's an extra step if you are actually using the audio from your phone. Um, and then you click sign in. And as I said, this is going to start um, actually making calls. So I'm going to, this is what it looks like, but I'm going to click on not ready right now so that it stops dialing people right now so that I can talk to all of you. But that's how you would, um, oh, it didn't work. Okay, there you go, not ready. So you can't stay logged into this if, you, um, if you're not actually ready to make phone calls. But what it does is, what this system does is um, it's calling 200 numbers at one time, and then the first person to pick up the phone is the one that it connects to. So it's always dialing um, so that you have a better chance of actually talking to people um, that, that answer the phone. Um, so what you will see as you are logged in, this is a test script, and so this is our script from last week. So as you click through, um, it will say, um, it will have the script there and you'll say, hi, my name is Jessica. I'm calling from Equality North Carolina. We're calling across the community. Make sure you're doing well um, and that you have all the information you need. May I please speak with, and the name will be in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. And so you'll say that name. You'll confirm that you're talking to the right person. Um, there are other choices here. You can, um, this person refused. That happens occasionally. People don't like to talk on the phone, don't like unsolicited calls sometimes, and you just hit refuse and just, you know, go on with your life. Try not to take it personally. Um, and, or if it's a wrong number or not home or moved or any of that, you can, you can click any of those things. So we're talking to the right person. This is from last week. This is our phone bank from last week. So, um, Hi, as I said, I'm, I'm Jessica with Equality North Carolina. Today is Bisexual, Bisexual Visibility Day. Did you know Jenna Wadsworth, who is running for Commissioner of Agriculture, is an out bisexual candidate? I'm supporting her because she has the experience and knowledge to make a huge difference in this state. Can she count on your support? Um, you can put anything in there if you want to say, I'm supporting her because whatever your reasons are, you can ad lib in that script um, as much as you are comfortable. But if you don't feel comfortable, you can just read the script. Um, and so you then would have a conversation with those folks. Um, we're going to imagine that they are strong supporters of Jenna because Jenna is awesome. Um, and you would just say, that's great. Voting the entire ballot is extremely important. We can win this race, but we need to get our message out to the community, just like I'm doing now. And even more important this year, as we face the effects of COVID, are you interested in volunteering from home? Um, and then they might ask you some questions, like what are the things you can do? And you can say, you can make calls like this. It's really easy. Um, or they can uh, phone bank, or they can text uh, bank, uh, that's one of the other things we're doing. We also are holding town halls and fundraisers and all of those sorts of things. We're right, uh, folks are writing letters to the editor, folks are writing postcards, any of those other things as well. You can, you can tell them any of those. Um, so they want to volunteer and then you can click on, they want to send text messages and do all of these things. They want to do everything. Um, and then you would continue. And uh, if they have any notes or anything, you can write that then in here. If they said, you know, I really, here's my email address. I'd really like somebody to call me because I wanna, you know, hold an event, a virtual event or something. You can put that in there and then that will automatically be in the report to me that I get at the end of every day. Um, so that's the script. And then um, when you're finished with that script, uh, a, a box will pop up and you will do the next caller. So, stop sharing my screen and uh, I will stop talking now for a moment and see if anybody has any questions. That's good. The only one I had um, for machine answers, you just, well, you just want us to, what a machine choice? You just want to say not home? Um, so the way that this system leave is- leave a voicemail or- yeah, the way that this system is set up, it doesn't allow you to answer, um, to leave voicemails. So it only um, connects to live people, and that it's at least only supposed to connect to people, live people. Um, so you can put um, not home if you connect to a, a, 
a, a voicemail or an answering machine so that they stay in the list and they get called again another another time through the list. Okay, thanks. Yep. Any other questions? Is it I just had a question about who who we're calling. Is, could it be, are they any registered in any way? So there are a couple of different lists and I will put those out. Um, we have a Slack channel that is also in that list of um, links that I sent, sent everybody earlier. Um, and I'm gonna, every time we have a new list, I will put that out to everybody and I will send all of our phone bankers an email. So you'll know who it is that you're calling um, and what you're calling about for that period of time. So we'll, we may have a phone bank that opens on, you know, we'll have one that opens on Thursday and we'll keep that open for a week. Um, and so all those calls will be the same. And those folks are going to be, um, what we call equality voters. So they are people who are registered to vote um, and ha have a high propensity to be equality voters, which means they support LGBTQ rights. So for the most part, you will not be making um, phone calls to anybody unfriendly, although there's always wrong numbers and those things do happen. Um, and then there are some other calls that we will be making specifically for candidates in specific areas. Um, and those will generally be to our uh, Equality North Carolina list. So those are all people who have signed up for Equality North Carolina. So they are friendly, friendly voters. Um, and they're usually very glad to hear from us. So um, those are the two lists generally that we will be calling um, in the next 35 days. Awesome, thank you. Sure. Clearly from the demonstration you did and last night with the texting that we did together, um, there were op op options. So those are easy ways to just, you know, okay, thanks, click, and you know, we'll call them again. You mean in the in the phone bank? Yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, you just click on that button, dot call, and there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty, uh, I mean, it's a pretty good system. It took a little, um, took a little bit for me to adjust figuring out how to how to use it because it's new to me this year but I think it's a good system anybody else have any questions does everybody feel really excited about making phone calls <laughs> yes yeah I see some thumbs up so it is I mean you know it's not everybody's favorite thing to do but especially because we cannot go door to door this year um, it is really important to be having these conversations um, and and also I would just like to remind everybody that one of the things we are trying to stress to people is um, making sure they have a plan to vote like I said um, and asking folks you know there are 17 days of early voting in North Carolina and the first week of early voting in North Carolina typically has very low turnout. And so if people are worried about, um, you know, social distancing and mask wearing and, and all of that, that first week of early voting, which starts October 15th, that is really the most important uh, week. If we can turn out a lot of folks that first week, um, you know, we can, we can see that we'll get all of these folks out to vote. Um, and um, the other thing I would really stress is if anybody needs PPE to go and vote, we have a program that will send them free PPE um, to anyone in North Carolina. So that link is also on um, the important important links document. So you can you can give that to them um, if that's a question that they ask. Um, and what was the other? There was some other important thing I was going to say, and it's it's slipped my mind now. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so hi from Phoenix, first off. Um, hi. Quality Arizona, so I thought I'd hop on this. How long have you guys been using this program to make calls? Um, since uh, September 12th. <laughs> okay, and it, it's been pretty easy to start up and kind of get going. It, I mean, it took, you know, a bunch of us sort of really sitting down and trying to figure it out. Um, but once we actually figured it out how to load the list and how to write the scripts, um, once we actually figured it out, it is, it is very easy. The back end is actually much, much harder um, than it is for volunteers. For the volunteers, it's much, much easier. Okay, because we use every action and it's kind of, it's a little finicky. So this will yeah. be, this seems like a really good resource. So thank you for sharing. 
Sure, sure. All right. Are there any other questions? I'm going to stop recording now. Say goodnight to everybody on the recording. <laughs>